This is Crew Gai Chon at my gym in Pattaya, Petringrung Gym. He represents a very special piece of the Muay Thai library. It is not just about getting legends or well-known fighters or well-known crews. There are these kind of hidden gems all around Thailand. So I'm asking him here, I'm like, you're not one of the female fighters who just like runs away all the time. So how do you, as a female fighter who stays close, how do you turn? Like, how do you walk and come forward and stay close? And he immediately goes into what's wrong with my turn, like how I come forward. See how he's dragging his back foot forward first? He brings his feet together and then the front foot comes. He's like, the second your feet come together, the opponent throws a strike and you have no way of blocking it. That's me. <laughs> so instead, you, the front foot goes first and the back foot comes behind it. This is his turn. Yes, they can hit you on the other side, but that's the closed side. So it doesn't matter that much. But here is his turn, okay? So he's femur. If you're a femur fighter, you want to be able to respond to your opponent and move in any direction all the time. Like, you need to be very quick without rushing and without stopping. So basically, how you turn, how you come forward, is super important in terms of what all of your access to weapons and what you're going to look like against your opponent. So see how he gets me to block first? So that he can land that knee on the opposite side. So he's trying to get me to do it. I see him hold for this with the boys who he trains from our gym all the time. They're amazing at it in training because he calls for it, but they haven't brought it into their fights yet. And this is the thing where like, it's being pulled out of you by your trainer but then you have to use that same feeling against people who are not asking for it in order to bring it into your fights. One of the things about being a knee fighter for me is that learning clinch from people who are not clinch fighters is really valuable because they have the best escapes. Look at how he just grabs immediately into the clinch when I grab him though, like he works with it totally like a fight. Here though, <laughs> that is a P-Guy's specialty. He doesn't like to lock. He's talking to me about controlling the arms. So as you're controlling the arms and kneeing, you wait for your moment to do this huge move. But as people are swimming with their arms, you can throw elbows so that they get concerned about their upper body. And then you switch to knocking their legs out from under them. Basically creating a diversion. Look at how close we are. He's standing very upright. And so he wants our legs to basically be touching so that he just knocks my leg up very slightly. He makes a really big deal about as he's turning me, he swings his leg back. See how he brought his back, his right leg back so far? That's one, to get out of the way so that he can pull me really far and two, so that he's ready to knee me if I don't fall. See how he didn't bring his leg, and so as he pulls, he's gonna fall too. There he's making a point about how you can actually turn them in either direction. He does the same hand hold, so when you feel the opponent have their weight on one leg or the other, just pull towards it. You do not have to switch your grip. Sabaimak <laughs> means like super relaxed. I have a good wide stance. See how he just twisted me for a second and my foot so came he, up? He... You try to get your opponent to be tall because it makes it easier to trip them. You basically want to force your opponent to be standing up more. See how he's forcing my arms up? By forcing my arms up, I get taller and my feet come together a little bit and that's when he turns me. And then here, he's just using his long guard to invite me to come in. There we go, Sylvie. See how he's staying at striking range? He's not collapsing into me. He can do that all day. That's what I should do as a Muay Cao fighter. But Muay Cao fighters like to come forward and when someone's against the ropes, especially Westerners, we love to like grind into them. <laughs> He's talking again about how you want to keep your breathing calm. Look, this is how he turns. 
I swear to God, guys, he does not go any faster than that, and he looks Slow. relentless. Like Slow. nobody can stop him. The way I come forward has changed quite a lot from the beginning of our session. And I'm actually not thinking about what he was talking about, about my front foot and then my back foot. But because of all the distance that he's worked with me on throughout the session, it's been integrated into my feeling. And so I can do it without it being like explicitly thought about and worked on. This is why good trainers are amazing trainers.